Hi, I'm Kate with RGG EDU, and I'm going to show you how to install and run the Carnival action. So if you're not familiar with actions, there are two ways to get to our actions panel. The first one is to click this little arrow over here and it will pop up the actions panel there. Alternatively, we can go to window and scroll down to actions and that'll pop that up as well. So you'll notice now there's nothing in the actions panel because we need to load our action. And so to do that, we're going to click our tab up here and scroll down to load actions. Now I have my actions saved in a folder on my desktop, but if you've just downloaded the files, they'll be in your downloads folder, or you can save them to anywhere you'd like as long as they're easily accessible. So I'm going to go into my folder and click on my Carnival action and click open. And you'll see now we have our set pop up in the actions panel. If I expand this and we go to Carnival, we can run play here and we've now loaded our action. Now I want to talk a little bit about the Action Carnival and how we can use this and what it's doing. All right, now let's open up our layers here and take a deeper look into what our action is actually doing. For this particular action, it's broken into a couple of groups. First is adding our gold tones, and this is what is really making that color pop here. This just kind of adds an extra little pop of contrast. And all of these layers we can toggle on and off and we can manipulate. So if we go through, you'll be able to see that each of these individual layers is labeled according to its function. Now, if you don't necessarily know how to really work with a curve layer or a selective color layer, that's okay, because each of these is going to basically give you a description of what is happening. You can go in and look through the layers and say, you know what, maybe there's too much cyans in the whites here, so I'm gonna back down on that rather than going and creating your own layer. So it's really customizable in that respect. You can manipulate what we already have here instead of doing the extra work. As I mentioned, this works really beautifully in a studio shot like this. It also works if we have any kind of red because of those green tones that are coming into the neutral. So if I run this, again, you'll see that red in her dress is really going to pop. And now we've paired it up with the green tones in the backdrop and obviously we're getting a nice complementary color scheme there. The skin tones tend to go a little bit brighter and it gives it that pretty ethereal painterly look like some kind of Vanity Fair or portrait. This also works really nicely on an outdoor photo, so not necessarily something in studio, but let's take an image like this. The contrast in her face is pretty low, so if we run our action here, you'll see that now we brought a lot of the green and the yellow tones into her skin tone, into her hair. She's got a lot more contrast in her face now, so it really pops. We can come in and we can say maybe there's a little bit too much contrast. We can toggle that off or on. For this action, I might try to stay away from something that has already got a lot of warmth to it. So maybe something shot in the golden hour or with the CTO gel. But if you've got something that's more neutral in palette, this is really going to add that warmth and that depth. It's gonna add contrast. It's gonna give it that beautiful Vanity Fair look, and it's gonna be a really beautiful classic action.